Samantha with the Inner Dancer giving you your weekly belly dance drill. So today what we're going to do is we're going to work on chest work. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a V shape with our chest and then do a carrot shape. So going down on the left, then up in the middle, and then down on the right. So you always want to make sure that your carriage is correct. You know, you roll your shoulders back, leaving your chest lifted, and keeping the shoulders down and away. Make sure your knees are bent and your pelvic tucked in. So, we're going to start off with a V. You're going to start off in the center, and then you're going to raise your chest to a diagonal on the left, bring it down to center, then right, um, and lift. So, middle, lift left, middle, lift right. Middle, lift left, middle, lift right. Middle, left, middle, right. Middle, left, middle, right. Middle, left, right. Right, two more. And then faster, here we go. So you want to really anchor your hip in place while you're doing the chest work, otherwise you get this. It's a little bit of a different, a different movement. So really anchor it in, keep your hips locked in the place that they're in, and then isolate. So what are you using, right? You're using all this muscle right underneath your ribs and underneath your breast. So you're gonna use this to engage. So it's lift and drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. And then faster. sure that you're getting that v-shape now let's go to this one so start off lifted in the middle and then you're gonna drop left then lift middle drop right then middle drop middle right middle drop left middle drop right middle drop left middle drop right and faster much as you can um, at least like three times a day. I do it while I'm driving in my car. So I practice my lift drops and then I practice side to side because those are the two movements that you need to get the V and then the upside down V. So practice that while you're driving your car. Just make sure you're driving safely still and then just lift drop so you can steer at the same time <laughs> that you're doing the work, okay? Once you get this really comfortable, feel free to add it on top of something like a hip shimmy. So I'm going to start off my hip shimmy, which should become natural for you more and more every time you practice. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, and faster. Now we're going to the V right here. You can do hip lifts or hip drops, either one, it doesn't matter. So check me out at theinterdancer.com and funnance.dvds.com and I look forward to hearing what you think.